want to read you something. What do we all wish for besides world peace and ending poverty? Of course, this Magrib sandwich. Now that the first Christmas, also known as Thanksgiving, passed, we can concentrate on more important stuff like a Magrib sandwich. Smoked ribs, I got it! Fresh buns, I got them! What are we waiting for? Just roll with the recipe already! First things first, let's begin with the meaty part of this sandwich. A rack of ribs on which you can play piano, that will definitely help tenderize the meat. But if you're not in the mood for that, we'll start by removing this membrane. Run your knife or finger under one rib bone, then pull and remove the entire membrane just like a bandage after a bad breakup. Then it's time for the spices. Crush some black pepper to a coarse ground, just like this society crushed all my hopes and dreams. Welcome to Reality Pepper, hope you enjoy it. To that, add some salt, garlic, a pinch of cumin, and one of cayenne pepper. Mix everything up and heavily season the meat way more on the meaty side than on the bony side. By the way, stick around for a very special guest a priori melon who will sing something for us. Now, before cooking our ribs, we'll have to smoke them. No, not like this. This is not the way to smoke meat. Hold on, Anna. How the hell are you gonna smoke it? I thought you lived in an apartment. Yeah, so what? Since I'm an engineer, I have the confidence to pretend I know what I'm doing, so... I build a very simple smoker out of two aluminum pans. Savage level 1000 achieved. The bottom one will hold the smoking chips, a tray and our meat, while the other will trap the smoke inside and act as a lid. Welcome to Engineering 101, making do with what you have, also known as pulling a rabbit out of the ass style. Now, of course, I had to smoke outside, so I built this apartment extension on which I don't pay rent out of wood pieces that I secured using my last boyfriend's weights that he left around. I will be smoking these ribs with some apple wood chips filled burritos for about 4 hours or until someone overzealous will call the firefighters cause I'm smoking hot, which unfortunately I'm not, I'm smoking cold. Of course, this smoker does not compare to a real one, but I still hope for a smoke ring, the only ring I can get since no man wanna give me the engagement ring. After smoking our ribs, they should look like this. If you're cooking along with me, this is the part where you wanna jump in. We'll wrap them in foil, also we'll pour some homemade cider and beer to keep them moist and now we'll actually cook them in the hell chamber set on low, just like my self-esteem, to 300 Fahrenheit for about 3.5 hours, which is enough time to make the meat delivery system our rolls. In a bowl, add some all-purpose flour, salt, sugar, some yeast dissolved in some fat-free, gluten-free, salt-free, oil-free, taste-free, celebrity water. Also, a pinch of vampire powder goes in and a bit of French Vaseline, also known as butter. Mix until everything comes together, then I just remember how I felt when my parents told me I'm adopted, so I'll start kneading the dough vigorously for 5 minutes. Let the dough rise for about an hour, then we're gonna take 150 grams of dough that we're gonna shape by dragging and rolling the dough back and forth, back and forth, which will give you these little cute logs. Cover and let them rise for another hour, then brush them with a beaten egg white and sprinkle generously some semolina flour. Then bake them in the same oven from which you just pulled out the ribs at 375 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And these, my friends, are some meat flavor infused rolls. After pulling the ribs out of the oven and letting them cool down for a while, all bets are off. We'll debone them just like this. Clean off the bone, baby. And may I flex with a bit of smoke ring also. And now for the final part, toppings. For pickles, we'll use some diced red onions and radishes, fake pickled in a vinegar sugar water solution for a few hours. For that sweet je ne sais quoi, I'll make some special caramelized fix slices teleported from a parallel universe particle by particle, which I can top with the biggest piece of Martian steak that Elon Musk hunted himself with his bare hands. And this would be the first dish on my 1000 Michelin stars restaurant, $500 a plate, you're welcome. As for the barbecue sauce, add your favorite hot sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, that sauce that no one can pronounce, a squeeze of ketchup, a bit of miso paste, a dash of smoked paprika, a squeeze of honey, salt, garlic, mix taste, get amazed and let's assemble. Add a big hunk of smoked ribs on those golden toasted meat infused rolls, then it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna cover the meat with some smoky gouda just to reinforce that smoky flavor. Is this a heart attack challenge or what? Brush a little bit of that dangerous looking barbecue sauce, top with the teleported caramelized fig slices and with some carefully placed fake pickles and that's it. It. Now that's a sandwich worth being limited edition. And while I smash this McRib sandwich, let me drop this beat on you. Uh, uh, uh. 
They said I will never make it And you know how much I gotta have it For a make I'm a freaking savage Would you just look at this smoke ring From McDonald's and their mad grief, uh Alright guys, and that's a wrap. I hope this Magrib version will bring as much happiness to the world as world peace and ending poverty. But until then, we have a Magrib sandwich recipe that you guys can make at home. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed spending time with me, smash that subscribe button. Also, teach that to the algorithm, boss, and like and comment on the video. And until next time, remember, life is hard, get used to it.